solve inequality. So we have two questions here. Let us see how to solve them. Okay, so let me just divide this page. We'll do one by one. The first one is x minus 5 divided by 2 greater than x plus 5 divided by 3. Now they involve fractions. So the first step is multiply both sides by least common denominator. Now 2 and 3, the least common denominator is 6. So let's multiply by 6. What do we get? We get 6 times x minus 5 divided by 2 greater than 6 times x plus 5 divided by 3. Correct? Now, so it goes 3 times. So it is 3 times x minus 5 divided by 2 times x plus 5. Correct? So that is how you can avoid fractions. So see, we avoided fractions by dividing, multiplying both sides by 6. So we get 2 times here and 3 times here. It's kind of cross multiply, right? So that is what you can observe and at time you can simply cross multiply and continue. Okay. Now remember one thing, both are positive. If one of them or if the product is negative, then you reverse the sign also. Okay. Now let's expand and simplify. So we get 3x minus 15 is greater than 2x plus 10, bringing the terms together. 3x minus 2x is greater than 10 plus 15. So it is x greater than 25. Now you can write answer x greater than 25. Sometimes you may have to represent the answer on a number line. In that case, you can draw a number line and say, well, this is not included, which is the point 25. And the right side of 25 falls the solution set. So that is the point 25. Here, let us say we have a zero, which is not a part of solution. You can always test. If I plug in zero here, I get minus number here, positive number here, which is definitely not greater. So that is not a part of solution set. So that is how you can check. Now, you can pause the video, copy the question, and solve it on your own. Strategy is what we did. Now here is my solution. Now again, we'll follow the same method, x over 2. So what we have here is a fraction again. So you can multiply everything by 2, but this is very simple. So doing that may not be advisable. So what we will do in this case is, We'll take the numbers together and the variables on the left side and then solve. Okay, so we can write this as x over 2 take away x greater than if I take 3 on the right side it becomes plus 3 minus 1. Now x over 2 minus x is minus half x correct or you can take common denominator and do it. This x minus 2x over 2 is greater than 3 minus 1 is 2. Correct? Now you can multiply both sides by 2. So what do we get? Or what we can do is we can simplify the numerator. x minus 2x is minus x. So let me write this as minus x by 2 greater than 2. Okay. Now to get x, we should multiply by minus 2. Correct? So what we should do is multiply by negative 2. So when we multiply by negative 2 on both sides, what should we do? So you are doing times by minus 2 both sides, right? Remember one thing, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to reverse the sign. So this was kind of very critical for me to explain you and that is why I was taking time to solve it. Now we, if I multiply by minus 2, I really get minus 2 times minus x over 2 and I have to reverse the sign. Let me reverse it. 2 times minus 2. Do you see that? Now minus 2 times minus x will become plus 2x and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we get x is less than minus 4 as your solution. Do you get it? So that is how we find the solution. On a number line, you can represent this solution as x is less than minus 4. Let's say this is 0, which is not a part of solution. So if I write 0 here, this inequality should not be satisfied. So what I get? 
I get 0 minus 3, which is minus 3. Minus 3 greater than minus 1, which is incorrect. Correct. But if I write a number which is on the left side, a part of solution, which is minus 6, let us say. Minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. Minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6. Now, if I do greater than minus 6, minus 1 is minus 7. So, minus 6 is indeed greater than minus 7. That makes the inequality true. So, that is the correct answer. So, the solution is right there for you. That is a part of solution, correct? So, that is the part of solution. x greater than 25 for the first case and x less than minus 4 for the second. I hope with this you can solve inequalities involving fractions and if some numbers are multiplied with negative or divide by negative sign. Remember, you need to reverse the direction of inequality. That is what we learned from here. Thank you and all the best.